turning blue. Your whole nose has gone purple. What do you mean? Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Mari Bajari. Welcome to my channel. Hello. Disclaimer, this isn't um my hair. I'm not actually blonde. But you you know you know why. Okay, I'm just mm -hmm. so as you can tell by the title, and as you can tell by this whole thing going on, you know exactly what I'm going to be doing if you've seen Willy Wonka. So pretty much in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I got the Willy Wonka. Violet B. I'm gonna say B because I don't know how to say her last name. It's the girl who chews gum and then she gets like allergic reaction and turns into a giant blueberry. Let me just roll a clip and show you guys the scene. I'd rather you didn't. There's still one or two things that are. Really I'm the world record holder in chewing gum. I'm not afraid of anything. Turning blue. Your whole nose has gone purple. What do you mean? Violet, you're turning violet. So yeah, that's pretty much her. That's who she is, and that is what I am going to be doing, except before the blueberry. She's turning into blue. This is the blueberry happening. So I saw this picture going around Twitter, and I was like, oh my gosh. I'm not too sure her name on the top of my head right now, but I'll show you guys the picture, and I will have her video linked down below. I was like, girl, why hasn't anyone thought of doing this look? I was like, kudos to her. She inspired me. I'm doing it. So this is going to be my first Halloween tutorial, and I have plenty more to come. I literally just went out, splurged on a whole bunch of Halloween products, wigs, so much stuff. So just get ready. Just be prepared for the next few videos. So yeah guys, I'm pretty much gonna show you how I achieved this look. And if you guys wanna see how I did it, I suggest you keep on watching. But before we start this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on the little notification bell so you're notified every single time that I post. And without further ado, let's just get right into the video. I have three palettes here. I'm not too sure exactly what the look's gonna be, but we want it to be something like purple and bluish, something with like the bubblegum feel, you know, because she's like a blue bubblegum. We're going to start off using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette in Ring the Alarm. I realized I just said Ring the Alarm. This is Bling Boss, you guys. This is Jaclyn Hill's Bling Boss. I chose this palette because it has a lot of like purple tones and mauve tones. So I'm taking my Morphe M441 blending brush and taking the shade Hush Hush. And that's going to be used as my crease shade. As you can tell, I already have my base on because that's not really the main point of this Halloween look. It's the whole bubblegum nose allergic reaction. So yeah, just have your base on and let's get this main part on the road. Going in with Hush Hush, I'm putting that into my crease. Okay, now going into my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Um, I am going to take the shade Amethyst right here using my Morphe M433 brush and that's going to be focused like on the outer crease and then blending in a little bit. So I'm going to grab a little bit of musk and just to tone the purple down a little bit and apply it into the same area. Okay, now going back into the Desert Dust palette, I'm going to take the shade Twilight, and that's going to go all over my lid. And I'm just using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush to pack that on all over the lid. I think I'm going to use my finger. Okay, so I'm going to go into my ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette and take this like icy blue shade right here, just using my index finger and pack that on top of Twilight. Okay, now I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics pencil brush and mix Amethyst and Musk to smoke out my lower lash line. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes. I'm going to be using the Lily Lashes in the style Havana, and I'm gonna do the off camera, and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and put on the lashes, and I also decided to add some like purple liner on my lower lash line, and I used the NYX Purple Blaze Eyeliner. And now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and I think highlight my inner corner. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the blue icy shade from the ColourPop palette, as well as Twilight from the Huda Beauty palette, and I'm just going to be using a pencil brush, spraying it with some setting spray, and mixing those two to highlight my inner corner. Also gonna drag it up into like the lid shape. Okay, so that is pretty much for the eyes, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the nose area, the whole part of Violet. So, I have this, um, what is this, like face paint color palette. Uh, it's kind of like a dupe for the Makeup Forever one. I got this on Amazon, I think for like $10. So this is what I'm going to be using. As you can tell, I let my little brothers borrow it and they just kind of took black and mixed it with everything else. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my Luxie 249 double sided brush and I'm just going to go into this um, navy blue purple shade right here and just start putting it on my nose and I'll just let I'll just let myself show you. It's kind of hard to explain. Just watch. The main part is like to have the most pigmentation on the actual like nose right here. Then after I'm kind of just going to like blend it out. You don't want to go in with like the face paint and just keep going because then it's, it's going to look like a big blob. I'm going to take the other blending side part and just start like pulling it outwards. I'm gonna go into the face paint using the blending brush and then just kind of lightly pouncing it on like under my eyes. into my Morphe 35B palettes with all these colorful colors. I'm going to take another blending brush and kind of just mix this dark blue shade along with the dark purple and start like blending and pouncing on top of the face paint because now I want to give it more of like a matte look and some more purples because this is more of like a blue. So let's start pouncing. Okay, so now I'm going to go with my Kat Von D Alchemist palette and I'm going to mix the purple and blue highlight shade to like highlight the bridge of my nose. That's going to go down the nose and also on the tip. See how it's giving that, that glow? That's what we want. And then I'm kind of going to drag the inner corner highlight a little lower. Okay, and then I noticed she has some veins like coming out right here. So I'm going to mix the navy blue shade with some black. And then just start drawing out the veins. Not too much. Now for the lips, I'm just going to keep it simple because this is a whole lot going on already. So I'm going to take the Dose of Colors um, Desi X Katie The Most Lip Gloss and apply that onto the lips. Alright, so you guys, this is pretty much the finished makeup look. Let me go ahead and set it. Makeup is done, so let me go ahead and put that violet wig on. I ain't ready. I'm not ready. Are you guys ready? BRB. Guys, I had to put the gum in. Holy, oh my god, imagine me with this hair. This is weird. Oh my gosh, I have like so many things planned that I even got wigs and everything and it's just so weird. I'm usually not doing like all out wigs and stuff, but you know what? It's time your girl tried something new and I did and I don't know what I did. I don't even know what to say, you guys. I'm just so excited. So, this is pretty much the finished look. 
the wig literally does it all like without the wig it kind of is like mm, man like just looks like I just threw up something on my face but the whole wig like you know exactly who I am with this wig did I say blue wig I mean blonde pretty much just need um, a blue sweater and the look is complete I didn't have a blue sweater so I just put on like a navy blue shirt and I'm honestly so happy and excited on the way this came out shout out to the girl who created this look in the first place I saw it and I was like <gasps> I need to recreate it and then I went to the store and I found the perfect wig I was like definitely doing it I like it this wig is kind of freaking me out though so that is all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what other Halloween looks you guys like to see I have a whole lot planned for y'all um, I just want to say like if you're looking for someone to watch that does Halloween tutorials that aren't too complicated I am the girl for you because I am not like the creative are doing like a whole special effects all that type of like skull looks like I have trouble with those maybe I'll get there one day but I am here for like the quick and easy Halloween looks. so if that's what you're looking for I suggest you subscribe and continue to watch my other Halloween tutorials because that's what they're all gonna be about well yeah guys that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give a thumbs up comment down below what you would like to see in the future please subscribe don't forget to subscribe to my new angels channel which is MA forever ever and also when you subscribe don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you get notified every single time that I post. Stay blooming and stay spooky because it's Halloween time and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!